Okay guys, so here's round five of my cards. I know this is a lot of videos, but so many cards are coming in for my To Die For A Card Challenge, where you have the opportunity to win 10 dies, both Spellbinders and Sizzix, and all you had to do was make a card, any size, any style, any shape, um, and all the cards will be donated to a local nursing home by my son's um, Cub Scout troop. All right, so today I'm gonna to share some cards with you that some cards with you that came in from Carol Watson and I'll put her information down in the description box below so you can check out her channel. She has made a ton of cards. She did more than one. So I'm going to share those with you as well as some goodies she sent. Okay. So we're going to start with these gorgeous, um, let's start with the goodies. She sent me some goodies and she made these beautiful, I'm assuming she made these beautiful crocheted flowers they're really pretty my colors i love these colors so thank you carol i love those she also sent me some prima um, flowers petals in different shades of purple this um, metallic sticker sheet here really cool with the uh, nutcrackers on them for christmas really cute and i got that graphic 45 nutcracker sweet paper so i'm going to put that to use with that i also have um some more stickers. I love these little um, borders. There's some swirls on here and some solid, some straight strip um, panels, I'm sorry. And then I have um, all of these die cuts. And I believe these are all, or well, may not all be, but um, they pretty much look just like um, Anna Griffin. I recognize some of the shapes, I think. But there's a lot of beautiful ones. Like I recognize this one, I remember seeing these on HSN. Sorry, guys, they all kind of intertwined together. There we go. Look at that beautiful die cut there. Oh, the cards, uh, to make the cards for the challenge, all you had to do, the only requirement was that you had to use a die cut. So she has all these gorgeous die cuts in here. And she has a ton of these in different shades. So I got them in these corners here. In pale pink, hot pink. And in black, really cute. She did the same thing with these curly cues. I have them in um, pink and black. Really, really cute. I love these. So I got a ton of those. And then a host of um, more corners here. This one's really pretty. Look at that. So cute. And then I'm not going to pull all these out. These are all butterflies. Sorry, they're in the cellophane here. I don't want to pull them out because they're so tiny. But just a, a ton of beautiful little die cut butterflies so um, thank you for those Carol oh and one more goodie she sent me I also have um, an Anna Griffin card making kit and I absolutely love Anna Griffin <coughs> pardon me but I don't buy her stuff because it's so expensive but I love that um, this will be my very first kit of Anna Griffin and this is that same die cut I think is that the same Oh, no, these are different. But I love Anna's stuff because it works together so nicely. Look, I can just let me show you all the components. So here's the card base. And then the sentiment. Sorry, guys, I know this video is going to be kind of long. The sentiment, which is happy birthday. And you can just layer the decorative paper on top. You can put the beautiful um, die cut piece there. Maybe put a sentiment in the center if I want it. Sorry, I know I'm out of frame, but I'm trying to grab everything. I mean, it just goes together so nicely. I just love, love, love Anna Griffith. And one of these days, I'm going to go on HSN and invest. But anyway, very beautiful card kit. Thank you for that, Carol. And there's a border strip here, too. Of course, I was just fooling around to play around with and get the right orientation for the card. But speaking of cards, let's get to the cards that she actually sent for the challenge. Let's start with this one. This is a card she sent for me. And I have not taken this one out of the cellophane. Sorry about that. I pulled all the other ones out to try to speed up the video. But this one is so gorgeous. It looks like a store-bought card. It's so gorgeous. So, such quality papers and the weight of it. I love the gold um, frames on here. There's a beautiful bird. It's just thinking of you. Watercolor boat is so gorgeous. And then it has a beautiful sentiment inside. Thank you so much, Carol. It is gorgeous. And so are all these other cards. Here are the cards she sent for the challenge. 
Now, again, I've taken them off the packaging to speed the video up a bit. So here's the first one, and it says, hello there. And I like that it can be used for both a male or a female. Beautiful anchor. These beautiful cutouts and their own pop dots. Lots and lots of layers. Real quality cardstock, too. And then it has a message on the inside. Super, super adorable. I love that, too. The little star there. So that one's super cute. And I love this one. This one is too adorable. And it says, be happy. I believe the die cut for this one may have come from a um, Cricut, maybe, or her silhouette. I'm not sure, but it's really, really adorable. And I love the paper choice and everything. And sorry for the poor lighting, guys. And then here's the inside. Another cute one of those little bees she's made. And beautiful uh, message. May all your days be full of smiles. Again, another adorable card. And then the next one here. So cute. This one here says, thinking of you just because. And then she has this um, embossed papers here. Really adorable. And some um, um, stamped and fussy cut maybe. Or I don't know if it's a kit. But she has these stamped um, flowers here that have been cut out. Super, super cute. And there's some beautiful bead trim at the bottom. And then the inside, you see the same image of that flower here, just stamped this time. And I love this message. It says, the most special thing about this card is the person holding it. I love that. That is really adorable. And then Carol made another one very similar. Same layout, different colors, different message. Um, but still equally beautiful. I love this turquoise and black together. It's really pretty. And then it has the same sentiment on the inside. I mean, all of these cars are so just so stinking cute. She just did amazing, amazing work. And then there's this one here. Wishing you a very happy birthday. Again, the cutout or the die cut is the flower pot and this beautiful flower. And she has a um, rhinestone embellishment. Embossed um, frames here. Layered papers. Beautiful combination of colors. And then the sentiment on the inside. And then we have one more card here from Carol. And this one just says wish. Uh oh, sorry. And it's a beautiful uh, gatefold. That's what you call it. So the die cuts are these beautiful pieces here. And then it opens like this. And it says wishing you the very best of birthdays. This is really, really cute. I totally love this. And the colors are so soft and beautiful. And I just love this floral paper here too. So Carol, wow, you went above and beyond. Thank you, thank you so much uh, for making so many beautiful cards. And thank you for all the extra goodies too, all the um, you know, die cuts and the Anna Griffin card kit, the flowers, everything. Oh, and that was in the um, Anna Griffin kit, I'm thinking. that may have fallen out. So yeah, I'll put Carol's information down below, guys. Please check out her channel so you can see some of her amazing work. And I just appreciate all of you for sending in the cards. I'm going to have the Boy Scouts or the Cub Scouts, uh, once their parents give approval, we'll make a video of them with the cards they make, they're making, as well as the cards that you've sent that will be sent off to the nursing home. All right, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a blessed day. And I'll be back with probably two or three more videos. All right, take care, everyone. Have a good one. Bye.